welcome back to Honest Books, and today we're going to be doing a book review on Scorched by Mary Macuzzi. So I talked about this book in my July TBR and I actually finished it, kudos for me, and it was pretty good. I gave it like a 3.5 or 4 out of 5 stars. It was really good. Um, it wasn't like the best book in the world though. So for many of you who don't know what Scorched is, I will give you a little tiny synopsis and then we shall go into the book review. Scorched is actually a book about a girl named Trinity who is pretty much living her life in the normal world. She has a grandpa who is part of this museum and he actually found this type of artifact that was an egg shape. And so Trinity has been tasked to watch over this egg. At the first night when she's doing this, um, someone comes to come and get the egg because it's supposedly like a dragon egg like the last dragon egg on the planet and there's this boy that comes named connor and he's from the future and he's actually there to help prevent a dragon apocalypse because apparently all the dragons are taking over the world and they're killing a whole bunch of people and the human race will be destroyed and these like government people are actually also after it because they want to have a different outcome of it and so Trinity and Connor go on the road and they're pretty much trying to not have this happen. A bunch of conflicts happen. It's really, really interesting. It's pretty different. I haven't read a Dragon book in a really long time. And so this was pretty interesting and different to read at the moment. I would highly recommend anyone reading this who likes Dragon books because I think it was a pretty good one for the most part. There was a lot of conflict and there's a love triangle in there somewhere. And there's a connection with a dragon and a girl. So we're going to get into the more spoily aspect of the review. If you don't want to read any spoilers, you can leave at this point. But if you would, this book sounds super interesting, leave it in the comment section below. If you're looking forward to reading it, if you might pick it up at some point in your life, blah, 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 go for it. So we're getting into the spoily aspect of the review. Um, just gonna talk about all the high points that I really liked and then the low points I didn't really like. Okay, so Scorched. Um, I, okay, I really liked Trinity. I thought she was a really good main character. She had a lot of spunk and she obviously it was kind of relatable because if this was to happen to me, I would be pretty questionable um, to it as well. During the entire first book, I, I, I liked her. Toward the end, it kind of got iffy with my connection to Trinity. Um, I really, really liked how the story unfolded though. Like it was very good. The end of the first book is actually pretty good. I really liked it. Connor, um, I liked him as well. I really liked him in the beginning, but as you got to meet his twin Caleb, I kind of got kind of uh, questionable on his part and I started to lean more toward Caleb. I really like the twin aspect in this book because kind of a different love triangle, I would say. You don't read about twin love triangles very often. And so it was really interesting to read about. I really liked that type of thing. So I really liked reading it. I think like the brother bond type thing with another love interest is really interesting to read about. I like how different authors unfold the type of relationship. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this actual relationship unfolds in the future. I am currently like halfway through the second book and I'm seeing how it might unfold. So I'm not gonna spoil the second one for you, but it gets annoying after a while. And so most love triangles do get really annoying after a while. And I think this one is a little bit different though, since they're brothers and they're twins and they look exactly the same. So it's kind of like, you can't say that it's because one is better looking than the other. You have to actually go based off of their personalities and their actions and everything. And so it's pretty, interesting to read about. So the first book you get a whole bunch of backstory and in the second one you get a whole bunch more of like action and so I really like the first one and how much of a backstory it gave us because the dragon portion of it was <coughs> really well done. I really enjoyed reading about the dragon and the history of it and the part of where like Trinity actually started it and then reading about like how they're gonna screw her over which is whew, button heads there with her own organization. So the whole thing about Trinity's mother was, I didn't see that coming. So I, I knew, I pretty much thought she was dead. Most people probably did. It was a very big plot twist that she was actually alive and she was in the care of Draken and that there was a whole bunch of other stuff going on before the Draken people and the fact that they're bad people, that they're creating more monstrous dragons and pretty much doing what the original outcome was of the story. The mom portion of it was, I didn't see that coming. I didn't think that she would be a fire kissed as well. And I didn't see all of that type of stuff happening. Like 
that wasn't in my mindset. So that was something really interesting and really good for the book because I didn't see it coming. And that's always a good thing when you're reading is that you see portions of a book that's a plot twist. And there's been so many books recently that are so predictable that I don't like reading them after a while because they're just so predictable and this one wasn't as predictable as I thought it was going to be. And so that was something that was really good to read. Highly recommend any books that have a good plot twist. So I liked that portion of the book. So like I said, four out of five stars. I'm giving it more before now as I talk about it. I think the plot twist near the end really helped bring it together. So have you read this book? Let me know in the comment section below. It's not a very well-known book that I've really seen. I haven't seen anyone read it or review it or anything and so it's a kind of a different one to try to get people to discuss. I don't know. If you're looking for a dragon book, I would recommend this series. So thanks for watching. If you liked, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out by knowing you enjoy the content I actually create. And if you like, you may subscribe to see videos of me whenever the heck I feel like doing it because I've been so busy and I can't make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like I used to. So bye.